Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you about how to measure the speed of your Python code. You know, people who come to Python from languages like C and C++ and C Sharp and Java all kind of laugh at how slowly Python executes. And it's true that Python executes more slowly than those languages, but that's because in Python, we tend to say that, yeah, execution speed is important, but even more important is how quickly you can get your work done, you the person. Right? How quickly you can develop, how quickly you can debug, how quickly you can maintain. I like to say that Python is a perfect language for an age in which computers are cheap and people are expensive. Let's optimize to make people more efficient. And that's a great argument, or so I'd like to think, until you really need to make your code faster. And sometimes there's no doubt you need to make your code faster, or at least you want to know how fast it's running so you can measure it and then check against different techniques. Now, the Python standard library comes with a module called time it and time it allows you to, well, you'll be surprised, time the amount, uh, how long it takes for code to run. If you're lucky and smart enough to be using Jupyter, though, there's some magic commands that you can use to check that yourself. So how would I do that? Well, let's say I want to check which is faster, a for loop, you know, traditional for loop or a list comprehension. So let's check. I'm going to say here def my, let, let's do, you know, traditional loop. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to say here x equals an empty list for i in range. Let's do it for one million times. We're going to say here x append of i to the second power. Okay, and then I can even do a return x. And by contrast, I can say def comprehension. I can say x equals. Well, I can just do here return, right? Return of i to the second power for i in range of 1 million. So I have both of these functions. How can I time them? Well, it's a magic command. Magic commands in Jupyter all start with a percent. And I can say then percent of time it traditional loop. And if I do this, time it will then run our function many, many times. If the function takes a little bit of time, it'll run it a lot. If it takes a lot of time, it'll run it a little. And it will then give us the average amount of time that it took to run the function. Notice, I have to put the parentheses here. Whatever code I have here is going to be running. If I don't put the parentheses here, then time it will just say, oh, well, give me back the value associated with that variable. It'll run really quickly, but it's not really what we want to do. So let's put the parentheses there, and I'm going to run it time it, time it, time it, thinking, 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 and it runs it. Okay, not quite done yet. Oh, here we go. So it ran it 10 times, and we see that it's 72 milliseconds on average, plus or minus 320 microseconds. Okay, not too bad. What if I say time it for the comprehension? And now it's going to run that function, and it'll tell us which one is faster. Normally comprehension is a little bit faster, and sure enough, we see that's a bit faster. Fantastic. So if I have a function or if I have multiple functions, I want to compare how quickly they run. I can do that with the one line time. It. But you know, wouldn't it be nice if I could measure how long it takes to run code that's not in a function or not on one line, right? What if I just have this code here from the traditional loop and I put that there in Jupyter, I'm going to call this the traditional loop. And I just want to time this stuff without the function. Well, then I can use a very similar magic command, and that would be a cell level magic command. Line level magic commands start with 1%. Cell level magic commands start with 2% signs. And now it's going to run all the code in this cell and do the same sort of thing. Oh, except it's uh, time it. Uh -huh. I thought that actually it would be fine here. What did I do wrong? What's it doing wrong here? Oh, return. Duh, I can't use return. I'm not in a function. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to run it, and let's see how long this takes to run. Da, 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 da. Okay, 71 milliseconds, and now if I say percent percent time it, and now I'm going to say, you know, we'll just say x equals i to the second i to the second power for i in range of 1 million. All right, and now we can time that and see which one is faster, and we should get pretty similar results. I mean, if not, then something's terribly wrong, right? And sure enough, it's the same thing. So if you have code and you're not sure how long it's taking to run, you can either do the one line percent time it or the cell-based percent percent time it. This is super useful. 
Um, and, and like, as you can see, it gives you results right away and then you can play with them and use them. I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have questions or comments. I'm always looking for ideas for what videos to do and or feedback from you, the viewer. Uh, you can always reach me on Twitter as well. And of course, there's my free weekly Better Developers newsletter with articles and tips about Python and software engineering. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos. Talk to you soon.